I must really love you guys if I am showing up like this on camera, okay? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, I really, really appreciate it. Now listen, listen. If this is your first time here, please let me explain. No, my hair does not normally look like this. I am aware of the fact that my hair looks crazy, but there's a reason. Let me explain, please. Don't leave yet. <laughs> Today's video is actually a follow-up video of my last video that I uploaded last week where I use the Curl Smith hair makeup to hair makeup my hair. <laughs> And so today's video is pretty much a follow-up of that video. So if you haven't checked out that video, maybe you want to go ahead and pause. I don't know. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You can do whatever you want, okay? But if you want, you can go ahead and check that out and then swing back over here. So that's what we're going to be doing for today's video. I am going to be talking to you a little bit about what my experience has been like for the past week wearing the hair makeup. So... Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started because at the end of this, I am going to be washing this off. And if I could be very honest, I cannot wait. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me start off by saying that this is hair day number, drum roll, drrr. <laughs> this is day seven, <laughs> I know, which is why my hair looks like this, okay? Seven days is quite a long time so let's go ahead and dive in and dissect exactly what the hell is going on and how we got here okay <laughs> okay so i think the most obvious thing of all obviously that the color has faded a lot a lot a lot there is a big big difference between the way it looked at the first day with how it looks like right now so the color is definitely something that in my personal experience with the first time that i have tried it because this is my first time trying it the color does fade away so what you start off with is not necessarily where you're going to end up with days later me personally i don't like the way the color looks right now it looks a little um what's the word <laughs> it just it looks a little sloppy the color doesn't really look consistent i feel like right here it starts to look a little yellow and so it just has like a yellowish greenish tone to it that i don't necessarily like very much but then again i mean this is day seven so i feel like i really really pushed it to the limit and i tried as much as i possibly could not to wash it although i'm not gonna lie after day two maybe three i was ready to wash it off but i said no i'm gonna stick it through because a lot of you actually asked me how long does it last like does it really not transfer so i got a lot of questions which is why i wanted to make this video and which is why i stuck to it even though i really really wanted to wash my hair okay so let's jump into that does this transfer so that is one of their big claims so curl smith is claiming that this does not transfer now i've had this for seven days and i will tell you that i am personally impressed with the little amount of transferring that this hair makeup does when it's dry okay so this does not transfer when the hair is 100 percent dry the minute that the hair gets any sort of moisture whether it be sweat whether it be rain or the shower or anything that creates moisture in the hair, the hair makeup immediately starts to transfer. When my hair was dried, I had absolutely no problem with it whatsoever. I was super, I'm talking about super, super impressed with the way it did not transfer at all onto my pillow. Like that was the part that I was so afraid of. I have white pillows and i have like my silk pillowcase that's like all purple and cute and plus my blankets like they're all very light colors mostly white and i was petrified and so was my husband <laughs> we were both really scared of what 
those pillow cases and blankets were gonna look like and I purposely did not sleep with a bonnet or with a sleep cap nothing I put my hair up in a pineapple and I went to bed like that and I was so surprised because there wasn't a single you guys a single trace of the hair makeup anywhere not on my pillows not on me not on my pajamas not on my husband on nothing and i feel like throughout the entire seven days that was consistent like throughout the nighttime it did not transfer at all i tried the pineapple method to go to bed i also went to bed with it in a bun one day because i just couldn't take it anymore and i also did a sleep cap the sleep cap was perfectly clean like if nothing so it definitely did not transfer transfer while I was sleeping throughout the day I did not feel like it transferred on me on my clothes at all the only time that when my hair was dry that I noticed a little something was when I fluff my curls which I do a lot so whenever I do this I do notice <laughs> I'm looking at myself in a monitor. I'm like, I can't believe you're filming this video looking like this. So whenever I would fluff my hair, I would notice that sometimes my fingertips or my nails would get blue. So that was like a little bit annoying only because I fluff my hair a lot. That's like, that's like my thing. You know, I just, I love volume. I love my hair looking all big and crazy. It's what I do when I'm going to like touch up my curls. So I'm constantly fluffing. So for me, it was, it was a little annoying, but you know, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't necessarily a deal breaker for me. Okay. So now we talked about the dry. Now the whole wet thing. This is where it got sort of tricky for me because I live in Miami, you guys. <laughs> And it is summer and I actually got caught in the rain with this hair now luckily I was like running to my car so the amount of time that I spent under the rain was maybe like a minute and it was just starting to rain so it wasn't pretty intense but I swear to you all I was thinking was oh my goodness I am going to have blue all over me I was like, I'm just going to be so terrible because I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to put blue all over the seats. And so that day I was kind of stressed. And I feel like that was the day that I was like, mm, I want this off my head already. Like I'm over it. I think that that was like either day three or four. I can't remember exactly. But that was pretty stressful because like I said, for me, every time my hair got any sort of wet, the transfer was intense. Also, I worked out with this hair and I work out outside. <laughs> like I just said, I live in Miami and it is summer. So I go outside to work out and it takes a whole 30 seconds for my body to start sweating or at least getting ready to sweat. And so I noticed like a couple of times I went like that to wipe sweat off and I had blue on my hands. I didn't really put a lot of gel back there to begin with. So my theory is that the little bit that I had put on the first day of working out with the sweat and with me wiping it off, I took it off completely, which is why I didn't continue to bleed the following days that I worked out. The whole sweating can become an issue. Luckily, I don't sweat a lot around my hairline here. I sweat more in the back, but I could imagine that if I was sweating up here, it would have been like the same thing. The other thing I wanted to mention to you guys was showering with this hair makeup it's pretty much the same concept that i've been talking about since now when it's dry it's perfectly fine when it's wet not so much i also think that it made a huge difference for me that i did not bring the makeup like the hair makeup all the way up to my root i left this pretty much with nothing i feel like if i would have brought the color all the way up to here it would have been like a little tricky. Now, as far as the hair makeup as an actual gel, I actually think that this is a really, really good gel. I'm very impressed at the fact that it's a stronghold gel and somehow my hair was able to tolerate it because it may not look like it. I have very thin, very fine hair and I don't even have a lot of it. So stronghold gels are a big, big, uh, <laughs> 
It's a big no for me in my hair because it creates a cast that is nearly impossible to break up. My curls stay very like wet looking and crunchy and stiff and it weighs it down. Anything that says like stronghold, I like run. I like run away from it. <laughs> I can't touch up my curls the way I normally do. So normally the way I touch up my curls is I grab water and I pretty much re-wet my curls to reactivate the product that I already have and then I either air dry or diffuse. Unfortunately, I can't do that because if I do that, I'm going to remove all the color. It's gonna get all over the place. If I wanna keep the color, I would have to like go back and add more products. So. I can't really touch up my curls, like at all. I can't think of any other way to touch them up. Normally this hot mess right here, the only thing that's gonna fix it is re-wetting it. So I would say that after day, day two, day three, my curls were not looking cute at all. Okay, so now finally, after all of that, my final thoughts on the product is, I think it's a great product. <laughs> I actually think it's a great product. I really enjoyed using it. I think it's great. It's a lot of fun. I love that curly girls with dark hair now have an option um, to play around with color and have fun with it. My thing is, this is more of like a one time, one day thing. I'm definitely gonna do the ruby, which is the red. But this time around, I know that for me, my personal opinion is you wear this one, two days and that's it. I'm so happy that I tried it and I cannot wait to do the ruby and I'm also considering doing all the other colors but I just have to like mentally prepare myself because that's a lot of hair washing. <laughs> Finally last but not least the other very popular question that I got was does it really wash off after just one wash? I don't know <laughs> and we're about to find out. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower. I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're going to wash this off and I gotta tell you I'm so excited I cannot wait <laughs> 